Hey everybody, did you know you can go to colinmullen.com in order to get art and art prints? It's what I say at the beginning of every single video, and it retains truth. It rings true, even to this day. colinmullen.com is where you can buy my art. Yeah. So hey everybody, um, going to talk about this painting real quick and then we'll get into today's subject matter a little bit. Um, more or less, um, I just wanted to try out some new techniques, some new ideas, and some new, um, I guess, aesthetics that I've been uh, fiddling around with or thinking about, um, and figured that this would be a good chance to try them out and do something different. Uh, all in all, not my favorite piece, but one of the cooler ones that I've done as of recent. I think um, just making sure that I actually sit down and take the time to do art is um, been incredibly helpful over the past like couple of years or year or however long I've been doing this channel of just having that responsibility to the people on Patreon um, to, to make sure that these are done has really improved my art in a very short amount of time. But I digress a bit or lead into the subject, I'm not sure which. Anyway, let's talk about that. Let's talk about um, you starting up doing art and uh, you know now that you've got all this free time. You've got all this free time. People keep telling you that. You got free time right now to do whatever you want. And, you know, because you're not traveling to work or maybe you're out of a job because of this whole situation that's going on. Or, you know, maybe it's just you can't go out and party. You can't go out and go see a movie. You can't do all of these other things. And you've binge watched all of Netflix and all of that has already been watched. And so you're kind of just left to do, I don't know, that stuff that you meant to get around to eventually. Maybe that's why you're watching this. Um, obviously, this is going to ring very, very differently. Uh, in April of 2020 than it will other times in the world, but there's this general consensus that, like, you have this free time right now, and you should use it to improve yourself. You should use it to, you know, you can, why not? Um, there's quite a few problems with that line of logic, and I want to puncture a few holes in them because it's just, it's frustrating to me to see it repetitively thrown out there. Um, First of all, is this idea that um, you are mentally okay right now. I know a lot of people aren't, and I've talked about it before in other videos about there's this idea that art is fueled by emotional distress and how that's just fiction. Um, I think maybe, you know, now you may be feeling it more so than ever, but just the idea that, like, an em emotionally disturbed or, um, you know, a depressed person is going to be able to do good art. No, because of everything you're feeling right now, whether or not you're processing it or not, you're, you're freaking out a bit. And I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, if I told you, like I told my wife, like you have to learn a new language during this epidemic, you know, you've got free time. Why not? and I got mad at her for not doing so in a certain period of time, there would be a call-out post. Um, people would say, you're mean, you're evil, you're abusive, etc., etc. And my point is, um, why is it okay for you to say that to yourself? Why is it okay? Why is it not okay for me to say to someone else and somehow okay for you to say to yourself? My point is, it's not. It's not okay for you to uh, beat yourself up over not being able to do stuff right now. Now, that being said, maybe this is a different time. Maybe this is a few years down the line and you're watching this and you're like, oh, there's no great tragedy happening right now, so I can deal with this. Fine. I don't think that every single moment of our day needs to be spent processing, interpreting, and making things. Um, interacting with things that have been made and making things. Um, it's something that I've slowly become more and more aware of. We are constantly in this loop that we have to be doing something. And the idea and the thought of doing nothing is completely alien to us. The idea that we can single task you know, and I speak as someone who's profoundly ADD. Um, the idea of doing one thing at a time is antithetical to my very existence. And it's something that um, I have a hard time dealing with. It is just sitting still. Um, and I think a lot of people are that way. And I don't know how much of that is just my weird brain chemistry and how much of that is my personality and how much of is society telling me that I need to be using every single moment of my waking life 
to do something, to consume or to create um, something. I feel like that is an unhealthy mindset as well. I feel like there needs to be a certain amount of downtime where you're not processing information. I see so many artists who process, uh, who, who just look at the same sort of material and their style becomes very reminiscent of it and it doesn't become expanded by it. It doesn't, you know, act as a, a additional thing to their thought process. It's just something that they add. They, they are just now another person who does this style, who, who likes Disney or likes such and such. And it's like, cool, I've seen that though. And just by having that, I guess, vocabulary in your constant daily life, because you're consuming that media, makes it just so you make that. Um, I've heard a lot of musicians say that they actively decide not to listen to music um, during the creative process, because otherwise they end up writing songs similar to the ones they were listening to, or uh, just not listening to songs that are similar to the style they listen to. This idea that you have to constantly be consuming is is just much. It's too much. Um, take take a moment to not do something today, and I think you'll find it to be exceedingly more difficult than anything else you've been trying to do. I guess lastly, I should actually try and help you with the whole like doing that. I mean, that's what the purpose of this channel is, and more specifically, if you want to get into the weeds of it, just look at the videos on this channel. It's what I've been doing and I've been trying to answer all the common questions, try and get into how to, you know, do art professionally. This is a good resource for that and I'm trying to make it better every single week. Um, one thing I can say that has been incredibly helpful for me, and I kind of addressed it at the beginning of this video, is the responsibility to do it. The responsibility that the patrons force on me by nature of them giving me money and I mean that in a good way um, the idea that because I owe them this content because they're paying me has forced me to actually do this which is something that I've been wanting to do and because I have that pressure I work better under it I know I have to do it it can't be put off any longer I have to do this I've talked about this mentality before in the past but another thing if that doesn't work for you is to just maybe set the bar a little bit lower we are going through a lot right now rather than setting the bar to be you know I don't know, complete a masterpiece every week, which would be unreasonable for me to say of myself or to anyone else, as I addressed earlier. But if you can just set yourself up to maybe this week, I need to spend five minutes sitting in front of my canvas, set it as a infinitely small thing that you have to do. I'm not talking like you need to paint a huge thing or whatever. You don't even have to put paint on canvas. Just sit down in front of your canvas or whatever your drawing utensil happens to be and sit there for five minutes. You can do whatever. Just sit there in front of it for five minutes. Maybe hold the brush while you're doing this for five minutes. Whatever. Um, naturally speaking, that is a very easy thing to commit to. Um, committing to finishing a work of art is a much higher task and your brain does not like processing that kind of stuff. So I guess my overall opinion for this video is don't be so hard on yourself, set your bar to something achievable, and then you'll achieve more than you already were when you were giving yourself a hard time. Anyway, um, about those patrons, if you want to become one, go down to the link in the description. Obviously things are crazy right now, so I understand if you can't or if you have to cancel, I totally understand. But here are the people who have helped me out as of this month at the $5 or more tier Thank you so much to the following people. Thank you, Wapfu. Thank you, Top Houndor. Thank you, Spiral. Thank you, Spencer Kane. Thank you, Punkster. Thank you, Flanixia Theoran. Thank you, Orthogonal Caster. Thank you, Oboist Kirby. Thank you, Mortibus. Thank you, Micah. Thank you, Maliciousness. Thank you, Lost Nevada. Thank you, Kayla Hollinger. Thank you, Holgen. Thank you, Geisazan. Thank you, Duxu. Thank you, Chiptune Glitch. Thank you, Cappy Rose. Thank you, Bubba Fair. Thank you, Pep. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Amber. And thank you, Ants! <laughs> so fun. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, um, subscribe, maybe, like, all that stuff, comment. Anything that you want me to 
cover in the future. There's a lot that needs to be covered on this channel, and I want to continue to improve this channel. So if you have ideas of things that you'd like me to talk about or what have you, just leave a comment down in the description, and uh, I'll see you for the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you then.